Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of MHP Gaming. I'm Hawk. I'm AJ. And today we're going to continue to make her play Amanda's Quest. Yay! Thank you for joining the party. Let's go on an adventure. Wow, that's disrespectful, walking on the bones of the dead. Hi there, what brings you here? Oh, hello. I was helping out someone I met in town and was sent here. Have you seen someone named Evil Cave Witch? Oh, that's her in the corner. Really? Are you the one that did that to her? Yup, the name's Sarah. Nice to meet you. Thanks, I'm Amanda. So what happened? Well, me and Cave Witch used to be best friends. We came out here to train so we wouldn't hurt anyone in town. One evening, not long ago, in the middle of the night, someone I couldn't make out or s someone I couldn't make out met with Cave Witch just outside the cave's mouth. Wait, her real name was Cave Witch? Basically, her family belongs to that one religion where you give your kids very specific names to make sure all jobs are full. Oh, you mean NPCism? That's it. If you need more info on it, you can talk to her parents, Village Blacksmith and Castle Scribe. <laughs> <laughs> I love me. <laughs> I should probably question why Cave Witch is a job position that needs filling, but I have a feeling I'd be happier without answering. Moving on. Ah, yes. I, have a fun I notice how everyone talks with your inflection. <laughs> well, you're the one speaking. Yes, and they all use your inflection. <laughs> I wanted to get closer to confront them, but I couldn't. I was so scared I couldn't move. And this started before I even saw them. That must have been the Dark Lord. When I was near him, his presence was so intimidating it took all I had to even breathe. I think I could only talk when he let me. You've met him too? So I was right that it, that it was Dark Lord. God damn it. The only reason I doubted it was I couldn't think of why someone like him would be here. What happened next? Cave Witch signed some dark book and her name changed to Evil Cave Witch. I worried that she would try to find a quick way to power, but I never imagined. I wanted to talk to her, but I was so drained I didn't even remember going back to bed. She was gone or hadn't come back by the time I woke up. When she came back, she had this book of arcane spells from town. I confronted her about the incident, and she told me how she was offered a new power. All she had to do was sell her soul. She said, I was disappointed. I hate dishonesty and betrayal. Not just to me, but to what... <clears throat> Not just to me, but to what she said her ideals were before. I think she saw it in me that I wasn't going to accept her decision and started chanting a spell, so I punched her. You can see what happened. You turn her into bones with one punch. One punch! <laughs> one punch, Sarah. Right? I've one been punch, woman. I've been training in nothing but ways to use strength in many ways to fight evil. I left town because so many of the things I punched went flying and broke things. That sounds like Sarah. <laughs> After enough complaints, my friend and I came out here to train. Would you help me? I mean, um, my husband has been abducted by the Dark Lord. <laughs> Could you help me find him? After what he did to my friend, it would be an honor. I should be prepared to leave soon. Oh, can I have that book? The library asked me to recover that. Oh yeah, here you go. Amanda obtained Arcane Tome. Sarah is well versed in the physical arts. She has created a unique style of battle that involves focusing her life energies into her attacks. Sarah's attacks can weaken foes or bypass their defenses. Basically, she's uh, making her ideal for boss encounters. Her strong attack also works well for random encounters. Sarah is best kept in the front row so that her attacks can be more effective. Her weakness is not having any support or elemental skills. Oh, bye, Karen. <laughs> Hmm. Replace oh, the person okay. that's only good for random battles for the person that's best for uh, uh, boss battles. Yep. Now you getting it. I mean, Karen may be my sister, but Sarah, one of my best friends.
Oh, Sean, you're useless. Well, and you don't have him cast spells and only punches a mage and then he gets paralyzed, yeah. Yeah, he realized this is like our wedding party. <laughs> then again, that's 90% of the party in this game. Yeah, that's true. There's very few people outside of our wedding party. Skulking around behind people's houses. Yes. Great, you found it. Yep, I... Do you really want to talk details, or do you just want to take off? I'm fine with leaving, please. Just let me grab my stuff. I'll be ready when you talk to me next. <laughs> I think Sean is actually a good enough mage. I think I've used Valerie in the past, but... Yeah, I think you switched off Sean for uh, her before. Yeah, but I'm gonna need a healer. Yeah, he can do that well enough. He has decent enough attack. God. I just can't figure out how to walk by this fence. I forget. Do I have to go all the way back to just yep. Karen? Why did you do that? Why are you like this? Let's go kick some evil ass. Seriously, why are, and I have to disband the whole party? The entire thing and grab more people on the way. Well, never mind. <laughs> no, seriously, I hate that. It's not fun. It's time-consuming and dumb. Well, it was meant to have some sort of strategy behind it. Yeah, a dumb one. All right, where am I going? Uh, wherever you want, I suppose. Have you saved recently? Ugh. <laughs> No, I seriously hate that stuff. My apologies. I'm not trying to berate you too hard, but I You're hate that. You're doing a good job for not well, trying. I know. They can at least go and, like, wait back at the house or something. I did think about that, but I, mean, I it's like the, the fact of... that Yeah, but when you have, like, a million recruitable characters to have to disband the whole party and then re-recruit the whole party over and over and over again to try different parties, it's just superfluous. Alright. Yeah. You seem to have grown on your little journey. Have you made any progress on your quest to find Joe yet? Yeah, lots, well, Night Blazer. <laughs> Night Blazer, who are you? Do I know you? How rude of me to not introduce myself. I'm the Black Knight, right-hand man of the Dark Lord's forces. He really does look like him. <laughs> What do you want with me? I have been given orders to keep you from arriving until preparations are complete. Arriving where? Preparations for what? What's going on? Tell me. I'm afraid I haven't been permitted to tell you any of that. I'm going to attack you now. I suggest you prepare. Lord Blazer! Blazer, Blazer, and Azer? <gasps> Ooh, excuse me. Said the only thing Ben can do is fart on the enemies. <laughs> oh my god, you paralyzed him. Oh! I can't tell. It says paralyze. Oh, it does. That's what it says. Okay. Hey, and, Karen uh, did something. When it comes to the farting, you know, <coughs> stick to your strengths. That's not a nice thing to say about Ben. <laughs> and maybe for Sean, you should try fire. He might count as a humanoid enemy. Oh, yeah, I guess. I guess Sean is kind of humanoid. <laughs> nope, eh. same. I guess... Uh... I can't believe I paralyzed him right off the damn bat. That was pretty awesome. I forgot that I left the uh, weakness like that on this guy. 
because he's paralyzed with fear. <laughs> well, you were told to prepare yourself. I guess you were prepared. Yeah, I guess so. Not really proving to be much of a threat when you hit him with paralyze. <laughs> I kind of like that not quite end of the game boss, final boss I fought in Cold Steel yesterday. Basically, I just uh, kept hitting him with delay tactics. The thing is, is one of the uh, hits he did get it on me almost one shot my whole party. Ooh, yeah. And he was like almost out of health, too. <laughs> that game likes to do that. Like, had this long, grueling fight, and like, the enemy's almost out of HP. And then all of a sudden just one shot your whole party. Yes. Like, that's also some rage-inducing crap right there. Yeah, that game seems to be based mostly around delay tactics and, you know, properly managing. Yeah, them. if you can just, you know, strategize your delays and impedes and manipulate the lineup. Maybe this is the first cold seal I'm talking about. Yeah, it might change later on. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, that's really the ticket to winning battles is just using those tactics. The buffs actually are very helpful as well. Yeah, not a lot of games do buffs right. They do it okay though. Yeah, it's actually pretty well done in that game. That's honestly why I choose Elliot over Emma. Is that Elliot's holy song and resounding beat are like two of the most useful things in that stupid game. Oops. Well, guess I'm not, blinking. Not like he's putting up a fight. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Excuse me. Does Paralyze not wear off? I don't think so. I'm the... <laughs> you know what? This is redemption for the other shit you put me through in this game, so leave it. Alright, fine. You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry. I don't get to show off all of my cool attacks. <laughs> Falchion found. A falchion? I like falching. Falching. Ben, level 13 reached. Apply coolant was learned. That should do for now. But you're going to need to get much stronger if you wish to defeat me. Let alone, gr let alone greater foes that stand in your path. What are you talking about? I won. You stood there doing nothing. Didn't even did he even hit me once? Not <laughs> once. Please don't tell me that uh, you're foolish enough to believe that. I may have been I have been holding back due to the lack of challenge you posed me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what they all say when we run circles around them. <laughs> <laughs> the laughing is triggering my cough. <coughs> Not the Rona, guys. I always get this whenever the seasons change. Every single time, like clockwork, like to the flippin' day. I was afraid of that. It seemed like he wasn't giving it at all. You don't say. <laughs> Whatever you choose to believe. <laughs> Whatever you choose to believe, you must, you must certainly see that you're in over your head. <laughs> You're nothing but a lowly housewife that wow. accidentally fell through the cracks into a world where she doesn't belong. Okay, you're a sexist. Ha! Crap, why does he say... Oh, crap, why does what he say have to echo my own fears? You don't even seem to realize... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. You don't even seem to realize that you're not even considered a threat to us. There hasn't even been a kill order on you yet. You're so far off our radar. Damn it! I want to be on a kill list. Wait. <laughs> That's not true. I've come a long way. I've accomplished a lot. Put me on your list! <laughs> right here, on the bottom. List me! What do you think you've accomplished, other than collecting a Motley crew to challenge us with? Hey, that Motley crew beat your ass last time. <laughs> Half of them did. You've played exterminator in a cave, retrieved a man's lunch, and didn't even get paid to work in a library. What among those should strike fear in our hearts? <laughs> 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 oh. 
Other than the distance you've traveled, how are you any closer to finding your but husband? But when you put it like that... I know, it kind of hurts when he phrases it that way, uh, doesn't it? The truth strikes deeper than any dagger, doesn't it? Truth hurts. I was feeling so accomplished, and now I feel like I've done nothing. I wish I could blame this feeling on demon magic, but D down. <laughs> it got <laughs> cut off. To admit it. Okay, now she's having a Virginia Maxwell moment. <laughs> well, if you have nothing left to say, then I'll just leave you with this thought. You need to step up your pace if you want to make any real progress. Your enemies aren't resting, you know. They're also they're also working with a goal. And so now he's gonna give me the important life advice. We will meet again. Now, where's my sister to make me feel worse while I'm already down? <laughs> a tear rolls down Amanda's cheek. Now, if you were staying accurate to our dynamic, that's the first... You immediately would have had Karen pop and be like, Well, you know he's right. <laughs> give me control. What am I doing? I can't give up now. I have to push forward. Amanda briskly wipes her face and tries as hard as she can to look ahead. But that shit got on her glasses, and now she has to stop and clean them. Because every no one knows, crying, crying with glasses on is a bitch. Crying with glasses? Crying with glasses. What's this? Uh, dirt. Yeah, dirt? <laughs> are, you, uh, are you obsessed with specific grains of sand again? No. <laughs> I'm not my sister. Who went from studying sand to studying microbes. Man, the shit she's had to tell me lately. Whew. 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 You people would not like it. Put that side of here on it. <sighs> well, let's just say, man, it is informative having a microbiologist in the family. A very well paid one who was hunted from across the country. Someday that assassin I hired will finish the job. Dude, I think it's an accomplishment when a company seeks you from across the entire flipping country and says, please move your life here and work for us. We'll pay you a lot. Hmm. Whoa! Who poisoned? <laughs> Who's poisoned? I had to drive over and cook that passion. Who's poisoned? How do I know who's poisoned? I don't see anybody being poisoned. Oh, am I walking in poison? Yes. Oh. Why did you walk back out without getting the chest? <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer, folks. That's your answer. <laughs> Did you maybe want to give Ben that extra claim more? Why did you walk back out again? Because <laughs> I wanted to walk to a smaller spot. My jeez. <laughs> Words can't describe. <laughs> okay, no, it's because I'm <laughs> laughing so fucking hard I keep bubbling my fingers. That's why. Oh, I love you. <laughs> <coughs> That's right, people. You get to watch a woman choke to death on her own laughter. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, it's true. I started laughing. I accidentally hit the wrong key. My hand moved. <laughs> oh, my lord. But for what it's worth, I was trying to get to that thinner spot, but then I was already in him. <laughs> he made me laugh, and I gotta walk back out. Found three high potions. I hope they are worth it. How high are the potions? Yeah. Was it really worth it getting high potions? <sighs> Forest monsters. I need to find a village.
I would happily use Sean's magic, but he has no. Oh, you have Amanda and Karen's skills. Yeah, but they're not like ice or whatever skills. No, they're just damage. And statuses. Yeah, that shit never works. Damage never works? Statuses. Statuses never work. Well, you still have, uh, what was that, <laughs> Nova Blast or whatever it was. That was a joke. Was there a town over here? There might be. Yeah. Yay. Sakura Port. Aw, named after our fatty. <laughs> Monsters broke into the Southern Lighthouse. Now you're running circles around someone. <laughs> She's deep in prayer. Perhaps you should check back later. Who that? I don't know. Maybe you should check back later. Okay, it's later. <laughs> Wrong later. Monsters have still broken into the lighthouse. Oh, here they in. I make you a drink? Yes! You're a drink! <laughs> Sorry, all the rooms are reserved up. I'll let you know if one opens up. I'll just go sleep in some random person's house. Oi! You gotta pay for the room first. Oi! You gotta pay for the room first. You gotta teach me how to do that. What? Pay for a room? No, stop people from walking through. Ah. No, I haven't seen a flying monster. Even my. <laughs> How can I help you? Can I charter a boat across the way? Afraid not. The seas around these parts are acting mighty peculiar. It's been decades since I've been uh, since I've seen the path west flooded out. If that wasn't enough, some of the strongest sea creatures I've ever seen have moved into the area. As it is, the boat would be smashed up before we could go the short distance the tides would allow. Of course. Well, thanks for your time. Let me know if you need anything else. A boat. No. Just business around back. They'll help you at the counter. Meow. Be careful near the water. The tide is rough. But I'm rougher. Found three healing herb. Damn door, stop <laughs> moving. Go home, Amanda. You're too drunk to door. I love love. Hmm, <laughs> with jewels. Does he need this? Probably. It's improvement. Whether he needs it or not is up to you. Yeah, Sean needs an upgrade. He needs an upgrade to a staff. You heard me, Sean. Well, maybe uh, you should pass him that mail that you got in the first town. If he needs an upgrade that badly. What mail? Uh, grow your penis uh, three inches larger in a week. Oh, that, that mail. I thought you were talking about the chain mail. See, oh. we did confuse our mails. <laughs> God, here I was just being funny. You actually have to fucking go there. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You know him. Unfortunately for Sean. If you ever watch this. Wait, what's the... Oh, one's a hat, one's a shield. That's why. <laughs> one goes on your head and one goes on your arm. I shouldn't have to teach you about this. <laughs> I put a feather hat on my fist. Hey, I don't think it's working. Feather punch. Feather punch. I don't want anything. All your shit's overpriced. Oh. How about some space? We're talking business. Same. Are they drug dealing? <laughs> Dear God, are they, are they drug dealing? I can't say one way or the other. Probably. Are they selling the devil's cabbage? The chest is locked. I like how you run the long way around. Because I want to. 
what the hell kind of cult shit's going on here? <laughs> what do you mean, Kim? You can't be the hero. Why not? Because you're a girl, that's why. Ugh. So what? If I want to be Joe's wife and be the leader, why can't... <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Our parents never uh, uh, never tell us stories about how Joe's wife have married him. They just talk about him beating up the Dark Lord and his journey to forge the Hawkblade. Yeah, that's why no one ever heard of her before she married the hero. If she could lead the adventure, she would have done it already. I hate to admit it, but they're right. I'm quickly running out of options. Even if I find a way west, that harpy has a massive head. Head start on me. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was on purpose. Okay, good. How would I even catch up? I just thought it'd be funny. <laughs> you were correct. <clears throat> wow. Really? You can really go there? Yes. <sighs> oh, I hate that stuff. Found seven antidotes. Good lord. I didn't rob places more, like, more often. <laughs> Sorry, I can't entertain tonight. My daughter and I are staying with my father across town tonight. Ugh, repetition of tonight. Okay, yeah, I screwed that up. <laughs> my God. I'm not a writer. I'm, having I'm fun. a dumbass who made a game for his wife. I'm just having fun. I'm having less every time you point out my failures. Somebody brings me so much pleasure. Is she a crafter? A business lunger seems they're doing well. Wow! Just, just peek. Just, just peek. You literally just said you wanted to rob them more. Uh, yeah, rob them more, not peek at their personal info. I'm an ethical thief. I will not question that. Ethical thievery. Oh, come on. If some video games can have ethical assassins and ethical, <laughs> you know, thieves and stuff like that. All right. Ugh, probably maybe a good time to call this one. Not a bad idea. If you go any further, you're gonna get caught up in a bit of story. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. Nobody wants story. Alright, All right, well, thank you for joining us for another episode of MHP Gaming. Like, comment, and subscribe as you see fit. Check our de uh, description down below to find our Discord. Head there to make suggestions for games you want to see us make each other play. Other than that, see ya!